All right, so here we have a Dometic 300 toilet. Uh, this is out of a 2018 Forest River um, travel trailer. The problem that I'm having is, is like what everybody else has is um, a ton of odor coming from the bathroom, just raw sewage. I went ahead and I unbolted it, you know, no leaks, no anything like that. Um, I unbolted it and I could pour the raw sewage out of the back here as I tilted it. It, it was just pouring out, just, um, just raw sewage. It does have, you know, you do your water lock where you, where you just barely touch it, you get your water up. It doesn't leak down there. So there looks like there could be two seals down in this thing. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is kinda remove these four screws. That should get us uh, to where we need to go. I've read on the forums and stuff for Forest River and the Dometic that you want to silicone these, these seals in. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to see where this thing could possibly be leaking and then just try to seal it up. So we'll go ahead and looks like these are some uh, flathead screwdrivers. So I just have a long flathead screwdriver. We'll go ahead and remove those bolts now. All right, so I have a hose back here. I'm just gonna kind of try to flip it. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to replace any of that. Okay. All right, so it looks like it would. Get, it's gonna be this seal right here that is leaking. This seal is isolated still to the, I guess, whatever you call it, the drop zone down to the black water tank. So it looks like it is this and it, it definitely looks like, I don't know, it has a lot of pressure on the seal. Hmm. So what's recommended is to silicone this seal in top and bottom uh, and that'll keep it from you know, your sewage backflowing into this little holding tank here. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and clean this seal off. All right, so we're going to dig a little deeper into this uh, problem here. We're going to go ahead and remove our screws around here and actually separate the toilet. So we just got a couple Phillips heads all the way around the It's like we just have some clips around the edges here. This one here's, there we go. Okay, oh, well, there we go. All right, that is where, that's where our problem is. Wow, so that seal just instantly popped off. Oh, and I smell it. Ugh. Okay. So it looks like that may be where our problem is, is this gasket here. Let's see how, how this gasket may work. Okay, so I think that that's, this gasket sits here and then that is inside of here. And that is very loose. And then this gasket is what presses onto that gasket. 
All right, so I think this may be our culprit right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I have some clear silicone. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay some beads in here around the gasket and kind of get it encased as best I can uh, so it doesn't leak anymore. All right, so we'll go ahead and get our seal positioned in there. All right, what I'm gonna try to fill is the gap on top and the and uh, kind of going off the side there so it fills in in the groove. And I'm gonna try, I think it's just, uh, we we'll just put it on one side. All right, so I just taken my silicone and just cut kind of a 45, uh, one step up so I can leave about an eighth inch or so uh, bead along here. Go ahead and put our pieces back together now. Get all our clips in. All right, we'll go ahead and put our screws in. All right, so now we have our other gasket. Let's see, we were... Something like that. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, seal this one up also, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead around where I can tell where it was pressed. Right, and I'm also gonna give a bead on the top inside of the impression it made from the other side. All right, so now we'll go ahead and flip our base back over. Make sure we set it down nicely. Put our screws back in. All right, so now we got our toilet back together. All right, so we're ready to go uh, install this back into the camper and uh, that should take care of our problem.